Welcome to our tutorial about string functions. The string function, as you guessed, returns a string and often works with more than one argument. For example, the chr function requires an integer argument. The chr function works with ASCII printable characters. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. ASCII character coding is based on the English alphabet. It's a way of representing text in computer communication equivalents, numbers. For example, the decimal number 65 represents the uppercase letter A. The number 97 represents a lowercase a. Let's test this out to see how it works. Remember I said decimal number 65 refers to uppercase letter A. And the decimal number 97 gives us a lowercase a. As you see, our return values are indeed appropriate. 97 gave us a lowercase a. Next, let's take a look at the L case function. The L case function returns a string that's been converted to lowercase. For this argument, we need to declare our variable as a string, str. And here, as you notice, it doesn't matter if I use upper or lower case. Once I start typing, Visual Basic provides a drop down menu, which, while I'm typing, filters for the syntax that I'm looking for. Now I can simply press the Tab key, and Visual Basic fixes the case automatically. I just need to change this to the str prefix. And let's test it. We'll type an uppercase letter, and then compute. Indeed, our function returns an argument in lowercase letters. The next function I'll be looking at is string reverse. This function returns a string in reverse order. For example, let's type the word name. We have a return value of the string in reverse order, E-M-A-N. Our last example is the uCase built-in function. This string, as we mentioned previously, returns an argument in uppercase letters. Of course, many more built-in functions exist, and these are described in detail in the Visual Basic help files. This concludes our tutorial on some built-in string functions.